Hello, everybody, and today I'm gonna record a video. It's Electrofun's channel, and today we're gonna play Ghastly Harbor, as you can see I'm doing right now. I'm just recording my voice after I recorded this video, so it may be a little bit weird that I'm not talking at the same time as I fight. <laughs> but, however, I'm gonna show you guys that today's uh, video is about Ghastly Harbor and how to dodge each and every one attack. Now, first of all, I just wanna show you guys the tips where you can actually, um, let's wear my cosmetic, and there's a tips that you can actually uh, attack the minions the first wave before even starting your dungeons. So, that's actually a very cool thing to know, actually. However, I'm not gonna do this today, so I'm gonna show you guys how to dodge each and every one attack. So when the dungeon starts, you find your first wave right here. Just dodge the uh, gunner's attack and run around so that the raiders don't hit you. Cycle through your smite and you are good to go. If you're a warrior, just cycle through your mighty leap. And on the second wave, it's a little bit harder since you don't have enough space to actually go through them. So what you have to do is use your smite. Use your smite in front of those raiders, which are mainly mobs, and you can run right through them, as you can see in the video. And you won't even take any damage, don't worry about that, because that's what the purpose of this video. And the Brilliant Enforcer is something that you have actually ignored, they are not that actually hard, but a very really cool mob actually to be designed as, or no no. And now the second wave is, I mean the fourth wave right here, is actually um, really easy, so you just have to run around in a just a little small circle because the gar harbor gunners and the brutal enforcer isn't that actually hard the next wave right here which is the fourth wave is a little bit hard there's not enough space for you to run to you may have to take a little bit of damage and run around them because there's a new mob right here your first encounter is the cannon's crap and it will actually shoot you in a yellow thing and i mean yellow circle that's a lava thing and that will damage you con continuously so just don't walk in it or else you would die really quickly however I, you, I just finished that wave really easily i don't know how but just one run around them in a circle thing and use your smite cycling and after you heal yourself i mean i healed myself and here's the next wave you have to run or walk a long way down here before you actually encounter this wave which has the raiders and the cannon crabs basically every mob except for the gunners and this actually helps you but this is actually a bigger place already for you to run and you can actually defeat this wave easy and the next one is the first boss you encounter, which is the Kraken. I like the Kraken box, actually. Right when you run past the thing in front, here comes the Kraken. Kraken, I would recommend you stay in one side. It will, like, when you go into the fight, it actually throws sharks at you and one tentacles on that side. You remember, it always on that side so i will give you some tips is just stay on this side and attack you just have to worry about one of the kraken's attack and the tentacles attack and another thing that i would talk about is that the krakens will only cycle through it wouldn't like randomly choose which attacks to use like the throwing shocks or the ink uh lines which is this one right now he's show and i'm gonna tell you guys that just stay in one side and you'll actually be hard to be taking damage because I mean it's easier to dodge in one side I see a lot of people that just run in the middle again and again so this is a really great way to dodge the Kraken's attack is by doing this and it's a really good technique I think and it definitely helps people and it makes you easier to dodge now next wave right here which has a little I think a not Big area for you to run just use your smite cycling through and you can run in a circle I would recommend you playing on shift lock plus you would, I would recommend you uh, putting your camera on top of your head because that will be actually easier I think I don't know but I feel that it's easier to dodge right here this wave of minions there is basically everything single one of those mob in Ghastly Harbor 
You just have to run around too, and you don't want to worry about too much of it. The next one right here is the second boss. Most people hated it, and it's the Corrupt Overlord. Corrupt Overlord here, uh, I don't have anything much to say, just actually get near him quicker. And when you see you are in the lines, you just have to run right or left to the line, and the circle wouldn't hit you. You just have to keep running, actually, but not onto the attacks of him. Now he's attacking, and now just run through it. And also, one thing to remember, actually, you have to remember that. Um, well, actually, I got lucky here and didn't die, so I ran up here to heal myself. Actually, one thing you have to remember is to get close to Corrupt Overlord and each of those circles only lasts for one round. Which means when one circle is created and then he attacks you again with another uh, circle, you will have to just run around and then right after the attack ended, the circle will actually disappear. So only two circles on the battlefield is the maximum of he can create and when he, he uh, do a few rounds of attack he will sh uh, attack you with the ship cannon madness attack and about that attack I have nothing to say actually just feel about uh, how should you do you should run or not right here another tips right here you can stay on this side really close to the ship and the cannons wouldn't hit you it's a really cool tip when you took damage and you want to heal right after her corrupt overlord is on the ship. Now, let's just go and take a cannonball and put it onto the cannon and shoot him down right there. You just have to be uh, feeling if that this is going to blow up or not. Because you can see them spawning and then about one second delay they will blow up and damage you. So you just have to keep reminding yourself, can you go through this or not? Just think of it and be safe, I guess. Now, I took damage right here, which is really un un I mean, unlucky. And you just have to r run around the space you can run to. And right here, I was really lucky, I guess. I didn't die right here. And just keep doing these things I remind you again and again and you can defeat corrupt overlord I don't know if it's about easy that you have to keep your eyes on the corrupt overlord attack next wave right here is a brute enforcer and the harbor gunners again like the uh, third wave that you encounter on the dungeon you just have to run around them and it's defeated defeated <laughs> sorry man and right here is another wave of annoying guys. There's still none raiders. There's no raiders in this wave. So again, you just have to run around them. You don't have to worry about someone actually will hit you when they are too close to you. Because they are all long range mobs. And the next wave right there is the final wave that has raiders in them. In them. And plus this is actually um, the second final wave in Ghastly Harbor, so you're really close to the final boss when you fight over here. You don't have to worry a lot because there's a big space for you to run around. Just don't worry about them too much. Now here's the final wave. I wouldn't say that this space is not enough. It's actually, it feels enough. I mean, it's actually enough. And Brutally Enforcer, the Cannon Crabs, and the Harbor Gunners. They are all long range, except for the actually Brutally Enforcer. It's not a long range mob. But here's another thing that actually a lot of people know that you can actually jump up here. And that wave was really easy, I guess. Now, the next one here, which is the final boss of Ghastly Harbor, when you defeated the Sea Serpent, it's all over. The Sea Serpent will actually come up after you walk into the arena and here's something I will tell you just follow what I've done and you wouldn't take any damage it's on the first first time you walk into the arena that the side that I run to will actually uh, attack like this 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 side and then the season will actually throw I mean 
flamethrower you, so you just have to walk to a corner that the flamethrower doesn't touch you. And after you've done the first thing you have to do, and you just run around the sea serpent, and it's actually no big deal. Sometimes when you see your frame floor is gonna hit you, and there's another attack, just remind yourself, don't worry about the flame floors. Just actually take a few seconds for the serpent to actually attack you, and run around it. And when you see the other attacks, the circle one is actually really easy, but the attacks from both sides, like this one, is actually annoying. But you can do it. I'm, I know, it's easy. And it's the final attack. We've done the Ghastly Harbor Dungeon. It's not that actually hard for you guys, I guess. But this little video that I'm gonna tell you guys about actually an easier way to dodge and how I'm gonna dodge the attacks from Ghastly Harbor. And. And, uh, just want to tell you guys, if you want to see much more of these videos, I mean, voice videos about uh, any type of video, actually, just tell me if you guys wanted these videos to be made. And I'm gonna make more of these videos. If you guys liked it, then uh, I will definitely make more videos. And I hope you guys like this video. And... I don't know what to say actually, so yeah, that's pretty much this video. Goodbye.